Just coming live to you there now from Cullen. Uh, you might give us a thumbs up there. Let us know if the sound is okay and if you can hear us okay. If the picture is clear. loud and clear seems to be getting a couple of thumbs up anyway and again giving us an all thumbs up there and a few others people joining in now as well Keep, give us a comment or two there about the the zoom if we're in about the right zoom and if the sound quality is good anything give us a give us a quick message before the game starts we won't see messages as the game starts as the game, as the game goes on um, like last week if we lose coverage hopefully we won't um, Today we seem to have good enough uh, reception up here. We did have a, a small freeze during the week there, but if, if it does go off, we'll, we'll be back to you within a few seconds anyway. We'll come back as quick as we can. But um, yeah, let us know about the sound there and the zoom if you can, please. Just hoping that everybody can hear us. We're about um, we're about five or six minutes from throw in here in Cullen. Seven minutes, maybe. And uh, we we'll go through the teams and we'll just let you know what's happening here. Thanks, lads. Liz Thompson there and uh, Aim again giving us the thumbs up, mate. All good? All is good. I suppose we, we, we'll start away, maybe. And, um, you know, we're, we're coming to you live here from Cullen. It's a, a soft day, as they would call it. Wet rain is coming down at the moment. It was dry there about 20 minutes ago, but it seems to have started the rain now no sign of a break in the clouds so it looks like we're going to have a wet a wet game which would make conditions difficult uh, for both teams we're here for the ban secures uh, intermediate a football championship second round game between ahabulog and kilshanik in the first game ahabulog had a one point victory over kildallery scoreline at 27 to 1 6 uh, whereas kilshanik had a big win over glanmire they won it by about 10 points on a scoreline of 218 to 14 points. So both of these teams have won their first game and um, it's the winner here will go to the top of the table, whereas the loser will be under pressure in their last game. They will have to win their last game. Uh, Kilchanik would be a very strong team, junior champions from last year. And I'll just go through the teams which are there now uh, as they line out. We'll start off with the Kilchanik team. If you can see that there. Yep, you're playing it now. And number one in goal is Gavin Creedon. Number two is Connor Casey. Number three is Owen Burke. Number four is Shane Murphy. Number five is Colm O'Shea. Number six, Brian Gearan. Number seven, Jack Toomey. Number eight, Kieran O'Sullivan. Number nine, Ino Hanlon. Number ten, Barry O'Shea. Number eleven, Kieran Toomey. Number twelve, Jack Carney. Number thirteen, Darrow O'Sullivan. Number fourteen, Owen O'Sullivan. And number fifteen, Connor McMahon. With the subs there, Colm O'D, Conor Murphy, Ty Toomey, Ty Go Sullivan, Roddy O'Mahony, Killian O'Connell, Peddy Walsh, Glenn Kennefick and Jan Quinn. No sign of Killian O'Hanlon there on the squad today. Uh, apparently got injured the last day against uh, Glenmore. The, the, ref is, the ref is just doing the, the throw up there now, just for Billy Casey, the captain of Ahabulla, went in for the, the throw in. I think we're going to line up as, uh, as we're... As we're so there. The Abulog team is lining out as follows. In goal, we have John Buckley, sponsored by Cody O'Leary Foley. Number two, Paul Dilworth by County Wide Drains. Number three, Connor Smith, sponsored by Valley Hass, Coachford. Number four, Paddy Toomey, sponsored by Coachford Post Office. Right half back, Billy Casey, captain, sponsored by Coachford Equestrian Centre. Centre half back, uh, welcome back, Paul Ring. Um, he's sponsored by CCM and Gerald Sullivan. And left half back, Adam Murphy, sponsored by No Looney Electrical Plumbing and Solar PV. In the midfield, we have number eight, Shane Tarrant, who is sponsored by Kevin Finnegan Electrical. Number nine is Sean O'Connell, sponsored by O'Riordan's Bar. Uh, number 10, Luke Casey, sponsored by McCrew Motors Toyota. Number 11, Matthew Bradley, sponsored by Irish and European. Number 12, Niall Barry Murphy, sponsored by O'Callaghan's Bar and Guesthouse. Number 13, David Thompson, sponsored by Ross Oil. At full forward, Evan O'Sullivan, sponsored by Aha Bullock. Uh, take one do and in the corner we have Ian Barry Murphy sponsored by Buckley's Garage and Peak. Our subs are sponsored by Styles Hair and Beauty, 
We have number 16, Eno Sullivan, 17, Michael Dinehy, 18, Parik O'Sullivan, 19, Michael O'Reardon, 20, Aidan Barry Murphy, 21, David Minan, 22, Jack Murphy, 23, Aidan Healy, 24, Dennis Quinlan, 25, Michael O'Sullivan, 26, David Deneen, 27, James Brown, 28, Tom Long, 29, Jack Oldham, and number 30 is Killian Barry Murphy. Our management team today is sponsored by Crowley's Shop and Post Office in Ryland, Connie Lucy there at the Banish Door, ably assisted by John Tarrant, Eno Sullivan, Alan Buckley, with Anthony O'Reardon doing the logistics there. We're getting ready here for throwing. Players are lining up in their positions. Um, we're probably, Habulag are already in their positions. Kilchanik had just called their team in there for one last preparatory word and they're coming back out onto the pitch now so we'll be with you we'll be live here in about a minute's time yeah the rain is coming down quite heavy there now at the moment um hopefully it looks a bit brighter to the back towards the mill street direction so maybe we might be getting a bit of a reprieve from the rain here but it is uh, it's heavy enough now at the moment in time it's heavy enough and it's blowing in from behind us as well so even though we have a, a parasol over us here to keep us dry uh the rain is kind of coming in underneath us um, must get onto the club again to maybe sponsor some sort of a, a bigger mobile broadcast unit. Yeah, corporate box here is good this week. Oh. We're up on top of the dugout in Cullen. Ref is about to throw it in, and, and the game is underway. One there by Shane Tarn, who gives a hand pass to Matthew Bradley. Matthew sends it out here to Paul Ring. Paul is a look inside, looking for David Thompson. David slips, caught by Shane Murphy. Shane is fouled there by David Thompson. Takes a free, quick free kick out to Kieran O'Sullivan. Kieran O'Sullivan over to the left hand side, up to Barry O'Shea. Barry sends it into the corner to Conor McMahon. Conor is taking on Paddy Tommy. Paddy gets his hands on the ball. Conor McMahon wins it back. Looks to take a shot. Blocked down by Paddy Tommy. One there by Matthew Bradley, who flicks it out to Adam Murphy. Adam gives it to Shane Tarrant. Shane takes a solo, gives it to Sean O'Connell. Sean hops on his toe, back to Matthew Bradley, who's breaking through the middle. Long ball into the corner to Ian Barry Murphy, right up into the corner here. Two um, Kilchani defenders on him. Ian is trying to break through, he's been pushed out over the line. Line ball to Kilchani, tackled there by number nine Inno Hanlon, and also with him is Connor Casey. The ref has, uh, has ref indicated has given to a free, free to Ahabulog there. Free in, first free of the game to Ahabulog. It's a line ball actually, I think he called it wrong, but we'll take it. Being taken here by Evan O'Sullivan. Evan is looking for the free man, sends it low in front of David Thompson. David gives it back to Evan. Evan is looking to break through the tackle, leaves the ball, slips it out to Shane Murphy. Shane breaks out to Kieran Toomey. Uh, Kieran is out. Breaking out the left, gives it to Kieran O'Sullivan. Gives a hand pass out to Colm O'Shea. Colm breaking through the middle now, into the opposing 65. Gives a high ball into the full forward inside. One inside there, blocked, half locked down by Ian O'Sullivan, or by John Buckley in the Abola goal, out for a 45. It was one inside there by Conor McMahon inside in the full forward position. A uh, great block by John Buckley and gone out for a 45 to Kilshanig. So no score here. We were, it was a bit lucky there, John made a great save again. He did the same against Kildallery. Um, but conditions are tough so far, a lot of ball being slipped and uh, we, our handling hasn't been great so far there in the fall forward line especially we've lost two balls to be fair very difficult conditions very difficult. in our handling here with the 45 takes off the ground looks to be going to the right and going wide that's a long way wide so conditions are going to be very difficult conditions. passing is going to be very difficult um you know it's not a day for hopping the ball on the ground it's more a day for toe to hand no the ball is sliding. Looks to take a fast kick out doesn't see anybody there goes out to the right hand side one there and last again, won by Jack Karen, or sorry, Kieran O'Sullivan. Kieran is on the ground, gets the hand pass away on the ground. Back to Colm O'Shea. In again, looking for Conor McMahon inside there again. Oh, sorry, Darrell O'Sullivan gives a hand pass in, cut out there by Paul Dilworth. Paul gives a hand pass back to Billy Casey. Billy looks to bring it out now. Gives a hand pass to Conor Smith. Connor is working out, gives it to Matthew Bradley, back in his own half-back line. Out to the right-hand side, hand pass out to Shane Tarrant. Shane gives it to Billy Casey. Billy's on his bike going up the field. Billy is going like a train. He's still going up to the middle of the field. Cuts it across here to Evan O'Sullivan, centre-half-hour position. Evan O'Sullivan cutting inside. 
takes a shot just to the right and just wide just very wide. close there that was quite close it's very good we're still no score here um a, bo a wide for kilchenig and a wide for abolog in the earliest stages here just we're over three minutes, three minutes gone. gone here in cullen gavin creeden in the kilchenig goal looking to take the kick out goes out to the left hand side up is for his shane tarrant also there's billy casey billy gets a hand pass back to paul ring paul sends it out to shane tarrant Shane puts it in in front of Ian Barry Murphy. A hand pass on to Evan O'Sullivan. Evan again is going through. Gives a flick over the top into Luke Casey. Luke on the ground. Blocked by Gavin Creedon in the Kilshanic goal. Comes out with the ball. Gives it to hand pass to Jack Kearney in the right corner back position. Jack flicks it forward. One back by Ian Barry Murphy for Abola. Gives a hand pass in to David Thompson. David gives it to Sean O'Connell. Sean gives a hand pass over to Niall Barry Murphy who puts it back to Paul Ring. Paul into Niall Barry Murphy again. Blocked in there by number five, Colm O'Shea. Back to Barry Guerin. Hand pass out to Barry O'Shea. Gives it to Aino O'Hanlon, who's up the left-hand side here. In a, sends it in in front of Conor McMahon. And one there inside by Dara O'Sullivan in the corner. Dara puts it across the square. Held, well held by John Buckley in the goal. Gives a hand pass out here to Adam Murphy. Adam gives a hand pass into Paul Ring. Paul across to Shane Tarrant as Abola look to work it out from the fence now with Niall Barry Murphy. Tight game so far. Um, Niall goes back to Shane Tarrant. Shane back to Paul Ring. And Paul switches the play over here to Adam Murphy on the left hand side. Adam goes forward there, hand pass to Niall Barry Murphy. Niall is looking to play the ball inside. Back to Adam Murphy. Over to Luke Casey. Luke plays it in low. Cut out inside there by centre half back Barry Gearin. Gives a hand pass to Jack Toomey. Jack is working up now, gives it into number 11, Kieran Toomey, puts a high ball in again. One there, three out there. Um, number 13, Darrell Sullivan fouls. Niall Barry Murphy. A free kick here to Abolog. Still no score in this game. Just over five minutes gone as Paul Ring is looking to take this free. Yeah, I've been a whole look coming to it there in the last few minutes again. It's been a good game, tight so far, up and down. The handling is proving very difficult. Um, in fairness, John Buckley's made a very good save there in the first minute of the game and he's caught one as well, so there's no fear of John with the hands at the moment in time anyway. Um, We're underway again here now with Sean, Sean O'Connell working up the left-hand side on, on the solo. Sean heading towards goal. Number 12, Jack Kearney comes across to tackle him. Sean is about to take a shot. That's a beautiful shot and that's a fantastic score, the opening score of the game. Bravo look from Sean O'Connell off his left foot. About 45 yards out here on the left hand side. Absolute great score from Sean. Abolo lead. Six minutes gone and it's one point to no score. That was a lovely kick. I know Sean had a great game the last day down in Mallow again against Kildallery, but that was a, that was a super point out outside of the left boot and, and over the bar. Gavin Creedon here with the kick out. Looking for in O'Hanlon who claims the mark. Up to Jack Toomey. Jack being tackled by Shane Tarrant. Shane winning the ball. Works its way out. Good on Evan. Shane has it again. Hand passes out to Evan O'Sullivan out on the right-hand touchline. Evan is looking to move inside. Gives a hand pass to Matthew Bradley. Matthew slips it in here to David Thompson. David being tackled there. Looks to send it back here to Niall Barry Murphy. Niall's about 45 yards out, very central. Back into Matthew. Matthew's heavy look up. Sends the ball in. Goes astray. One inside there. Uh, Kieran O'Sullivan has it. Gives a hand pass to... Brian Gearin who hand passes it to Ian O'Hanlon. Ian is fouled there. Uh, Niall, I think it's Niall Barry, Murphy, uh, Niall Barry Murphy there seemed to take a knock with that foul. There seemed to be a clash there. It was, I suppose it was a foul but it was, a, it was very much an accidental one. Tangle of the legs and I think um, Niall came out the worst of that. Um, looks like he got a kick in the back of the leg while he was about to pass the ball. But look, we go back to that score by Sean O'Connor. Fantastic point. Super goal, super, super, point. super point. Worked out from a fast free kick here on the in the half back line, mm. and worked up the left. Sean must have ran about thirty yards with the ball, and with the outside of his left foot, slipped it over the bar. Beautiful point. Beautiful point. You know, on a tough day, um, but that was a great start. So we're one point to no score here, and we're after about six, seven minutes of the game. Temperatures are pretty good for a game of game of football today. Not as muggy as it has been for the last few days either. Like, Niall Barry Murphy down here, still, still 
receiving a bit of attention there now from the physio. We're at, um, we look like we'll be adding a minute or, or so at the end of the, the, this half, surely anyway, I would think. That's that for We're getting Niall back up to his feet again, so hopefully he'll be okay. That's a receiving a bit of attention there. When we, when we start up here now again, we'll be starting with a Kilshanig free. Kilshanig are, you know, as junior champions last year, Mick, they, 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 they will be a tough side, but they are down Killian O'Hanlon, they're kind of their, their key Killian, playmaker today. Killian is their cock star. Cock star, um, you know. A huge loss. Niall is, is definitely in trouble here. Yeah, Niall. Is, is it Niall? It's, oh no, it's Ian, is it? It's Ian. Yeah, it is Ian. It is Ian. Barry Murphy is actually the, is the in injured there. He's in big trouble there with his knee, by the looks of it. He helped off the field there by John Tarnt and Neil Dawson, who's the physio today. So he'd be a big last to us today. Ian was man of the match the last day for us, so it looks like he's, he's coming off. Michael Dini is coming in to replace him, so Michael will switch back and there'll be a few. There'll be a few changes here, positional changes as Kilchani picked the free with Aino Hanlon. Aino bursting through the middle now. Gives a hand, hand pass out there to the left to number 10 Barry O'Shea. Barry looking to shoot off his left foot. Looks to be going to the left and wide again. So that's three wide so far for That's three wide. It's uncharacteristic. Kilchani are usually a very good high scoring points team, you know, that's what you have to be careful of with them. John Buckley with a fast kick out here to Billy Casey. Billy gives a hand pass up to Sean O'Connell. Sean brings it across and hand passes it into Paul Ring. Paul out to the left here to Adam Murphy, who's been checked by Jack Carney. Adam out here to Michael Dinney, who's just on the pitch for Ian Barry Murphy. Michael to Sean O'Connell. Sean being tackled, gives the hand pass away to Shane Tarrant. Shane is now bursting through. Gives a hand pass up to Michael Dinney, who offered a great overlap into Evan O'Sullivan, who seemed to be fouled there, and he is fouled about 40 metres out. Uh, just slightly to the left of centre, free into Avalog. Some great work there, great passing again by Avalog players. Lovely, lovely breakout play here again. You know, I think we talk about Killian Hanlon out from their side on their Cork Star, but we got our Cork Star back this week with Paul Ring, his first game of the championship. Um, and it's great to have him back in the side. And he started that move down, the, down long in the centre, out the wing here. And Sean O'Connell involved again, lovely ball into to Evan, who was caught high, I think, just on the turn. Looks like Adam Murphy is going to take this one off the ground. Much harder to take a free, a free off the ground in wet conditions. It's going slightly to the right and going wide. So it's still one point to no score. Uh, Bullock leading with that point from Sean O'Connell. As Gavin Creedon looks to take the kick out here for Kilchenig. About 11 minutes gone in the game. Still a point to Ahabuluk, one no score to Kilchenik. One there, great catch by Eno Hanlon who takes the mark. That was a brilliant mark. Looks to take it fast in again, looking, looking inside. One inside there by Conor Smith who gives a hand pass to Paul Ring. Paul walks it out to Niall Barry Murphy, back to Paul Ring again. Paul over the top to Michael Dinehy. Michael brings it across here to Adam Murphy. Adam sees Shane free out here in the left hand touchline with loads of space. Shane is now, Shane Tarrant work driving forward now into space. Gives a hand pass back to Matthew Bradley. Matthew looking to pick a pass inside. Slips it in over the top, looking for Luke Casey inside. One inside there by Connor Casey. Brought out there by Jack Toomey. Up to Cullum O'Shea. Cullum gives it over to uh, number four is Shane Murphy. Shane out the left hand side to full back Owen Burke. Owen gives a hand pass out there to Barry O'Shea. Barry sends it in high, looking for Conor McMahon. Conor inside there being marshaled by Conor Smith. Referee gives a free in right out by the corner flag. Free to Kilchanig. Yeah, he'll be out on the 13 yard line there, I think. Um, right, almost right up against the line, touch line. So we'll, this will test the, uh, the Kilchanig. You know, Hanlon there is heading out to take this. I think he'll he'll surely have a pop at goal here for the look for their first score of the game. We're about 12, 13 minutes in here now, and we're a point to have a no score to Kilshani. The conditions very tough at the minute, so this looks like it could be a low-scoring affair across the board today. He's looking to take this one out of his hands. He's right out, only maybe five or six yards in from the touchline, 13 metres out from goal.
It's over the bar. It's the first score of the game for Kilchenik. It's one point each. 13 minutes gone in the game. In our hand, then with a lovely free there, very difficult free right out on the sideline. Just, just shows, cut. just shows how dangerous they actually are and the ability of, they'll punish you from from those with those points. It was a John great Buckley score. now with the kick out for Abola goes out to the side looking for Sean O'Connell. Sean gets a hand to it, one outside there. By uh, Aino Hanlon has it now. Aino is working forward into the corner there, back to Aino Hanlon again. Aino takes a shot out from the side. It's high and it's over the bar. That's a great score there from Kilchanik from Aino Hanlon. Again, that's two points in, in two minutes, Rena. Two points very oh, sorry, quick there. That was Kieran Toomey, my apologies. It was Kieran Toomey got the point. It was a very, very good score there again. Ahabolo just a bit loose. They tried the quick kick out, but. Quick kick out here into Paul Dilworth. Paul is fouled in the left corner back position. The referee is calling over Darrow Sullivan. It was a trip, it was cynical enough there. Gives him a yellow card. Paul gives a quick free to Adam Murphy. Adam being tackled there, wins the ball. Gives it back to Paul Dilworth. Paul bursting out. He's in trouble here on the sideline. One there by Kilchanik. Aino Hanlon gets it. He's fouled. It's a free into Kilchanik. They take it fast into Kieran Toomey. Kieran Toomey very central. Hand pass into Jack Toomey. Jack looking for Jack Kearney. Back out to Kieran Toomey. Kieran is going backwards now and he's out to Colm O'Shea. Colm about 45 yards out from goal. Takes on Matthew Bradley. Takes a shot, but it goes to the right and wide. Yeah, Bullock now need to get the half back line there, needs to win a few more balls. So we're coming up now to the water break. I would imagine there's 15 minutes gone. John Buckley with the kick out here for our Bullock. Kilchanig leading two points to one. John doesn't have, seem to have a whole lot of options. He goes long up the right hand side, looking for Shane Tarrant. Ball slips out, goes off the, oh, look to be off the Kilchenik there, but obviously off Shane, off Shane, it's a line ball to Kilchenik. That's 65 yards out, fast ball in over the top, looking inside for Dara. One there by Paul Dilworth, picked up by Paul Ring, who's tackled very high, and it's a free out to Paul Ring. Tackled there very high by Owen O'Sullivan. Paul Ring up the right hand side, looking for Matthew Bradley, being tracked by Brian Gearan. Brian Gearan wins the ball, goes down, wins the free. Takes a chart to Kieran Toomey. Kieran now has plenty of space here. He's looking to burst forward. Nobody on him. Gives a hand pass in to Colm O'Shea. Colm in to Owen O'Sullivan. Owen is going through. Slips it out to right half forward. Uh, Barry O'Shea, great save by John Buckley again. Evan O'Sullivan bursts out with the ball. Evan is our full forward and he's Worked, worked, worked out there from centre half back. Shane Tarrant has it now, looking to give it to Michael Dinney. Michael has it in his hands. Up onto the opposing 65 now. Michael is looking to give it to Matthew Bradley. Matthew's right here in the centre. Sends it inside. Cut out there by Jack Toomey. And it's a free out to Kilchanik. Taken there quickly by Conor Casey. Back to Owen Burke. Owen sends it out the left hand side to Barry Gearan. Barry or Soling up, gives it to, it looks like Jack Toomey over there. Jackson's in, looking to find uh, Owen O'Sullivan in the corner. The ball goes out over the line. Okay, we're going for a water break here. yards out, and the ref is stopping it for a water break. Yeah, the rain has stopped here now as well, but um, I think I have a little bit of one. We'll, we'll, we'll welcome this water break here. I think they'll need uh, a few words, as a, a couple of passes just going to ride there, going into the full forward line. Obviously the last of Ian Barry Murphy now is um, is tough at the moment but look the guys have done well so far it's only two points to one um, I think you, you, if you were to look at that as the first 12 or 15 minutes first quarter of this game it's very even I think I have probably really had the best of it for the first seven or eight minutes and then I think Kilchanik have come more into it there in the last uh, seven or eight minutes as well uh, definitely so and uh, uh, Kilchanik had a couple of wides early on um, but they scored two great points there um, one from uh, free by Aino Hanlon uh, the other one was from uh, Kieran Toomey, right, uh, bottom right out on the sideline. Uh, Ian is obviously going to be a huge last day. He was our man of the match the last day. 
uh, in Kildare so to go off after seven minutes but he's replaced by Michael Dinney Michael good solid player had a great game up in, in Michael in, started in, Michael started the last day and he did very well so you know no fear there I think just the, the, the shooting boots need we need him today points I think will be tough to come along today I think so um, you know I, one, one player there Matthew Bradley I think so far he's tried to be adventurous with two big pot passes they just haven't come off so far and he's looking into the corner forward and um, position, and that just needs to but that needs to improve. And if we if we if one of them lands, will be it'll be very dangerous again, you know. You see, he was trying to pick out Luke there, and if Luke got one of those, you could see Luke would only be thinking of goal again in the back of the net, and and Luke would be well capable. So one of those passes finds him. Uh, definitely, um, our scores, our, our lads will get plenty of scores today. The rain is easing off here now. It just has just stopped, I think. And the temperature has gone up a bit as well. I just feel it here. Coats will only have to come us off off a smick. So we're coming back. Uh, water break, referee is calling him back there. Come on, boys, let's uh, go, go, come on. Break was about two minutes, so there'll be two minutes added on at half time. I think Luke has gone into the full forward line there by the looks of it as well. You've still got uh, David Thompson, Evan is, Evan is in there as well. No, Paddy Toomey with the has the sideline over the far side. Oh, Paddy gives it away. It's one there by Kieran Toomey. Kieran is going forward. Hand passes it out. Another hand pass back in to Colm O'Shea. Colm is tackled there by Sean O'Connell. It takes a shot. It goes to the right and wide, but the ref has given him advantage. Called it back for a free to Kilchenig about 30 yards out uh, to the left of goal and. Definitely, you could see you could see, you could see, see Aino 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 putting this one over the bar. I think definitely. Yeah, it's is well within his range and a bit uh, a bit of an easier one than what it was earlier when he was down up against the sideline. Twenty minutes gone here in Cullen, um, but two minutes to be added for the water break. On top of that, with Aino Hanlon with the free here for Kilshanig, the leading two points to one. And that one is over the bar again. It's a point for Kilshanig, so they're now leading by three points to one. The scoreboard down here on the right of us today. The, the, well they pushed it up to. John Buckley with the kick out goes long out the right hand side looking for Shane Tand out there. Shane gets a hand to it, touches it down. Michael Dean is then under that. Michael gets it into his hand, gives a hand pass back to Shane. Shane is being tackled there by Barry O'Shea. Gets a hand pass into Billy Dean. Billy rides the first tackle. Billy is going forward at speed. Billy moves this ball really, really fast. Gets the ball in off the shoulder of Luke Casey. Gets it in one inside there. It's a free out to Kilchanik. Owen Burke there wins, wins the free. Uh, takes it fast out to Jack Toomey. Jack is a hand pass up to Kieran O'Sullivan. Kieran over on the left hand side uh, to Kieran Toomey. Into the corner here to Barry O'Shea. Barry looking for Darrell O'Sullivan. Pass goes astray. One back again there by Owen O'Sullivan. Bit scrappy out there in the middle of the field now. Ball is hopping around the place. Nobody actually winning it. Down there on it goes. Colin O'Shea picks it up. His foot block takes the free about 10 yards farther from where it was. Party gets a hand to it. One inside there by Darrow O'Shea, Darrow flicks it, over the bar, point for Kilchenig. Kilchenig the feet sharper at the moment in time. Darrow Sullivan with the point there. There's a the sloppy ball, they've managed to, to get the handle on the conditions a bit faster than Ahabuluk have, so Ahabuluk, the handling needs to improve here. Kilchenig did take that free about 10 yards from where the foul was committed and got the ball in fast into Darrow Sullivan inside the corner forward position. Kick out here from John Buckley won by Jack Carney here for and gives it into Kieran O'Sullivan. Again, Kieran is moving forward, looking out to the left hand side to Barry O'Shea. Barry has time, nobody putting in a tackle, gives it a hand pass into Aino O'Hanlon. Aino hops the ball, goes, falls to the ground, slips. One inside there, by, intercepted by Niall Barry Murphy. Niall comes out with the ball here. Nobody around to pass it to. Looking to block down there by Kieran O'Sullivan. The ball goes to Barry Gearan. Barry fails to pick it up. Gives a hand pass across there to Jack Toomey. Jack is looking over here to Colm O'Shea. Colm right in the middle of the field now. Goes long again. 
cut out there by Paul Ring. Paul goes to Adam Murphy, Adam into Billy to Billy Casey. Billy looks to pass it and, and it's intercepted there. One again back by Billy Casey. Billy being pushed out over the line. Two can shut him in after him. Billy is still going. Stops, gives the ball to Niall Barry Murphy. Niall gets a shoulder there from Eno Hanlon. Seemed to be a fair shoulder. The referee just deemed it a foul. Um, that was great stuff from Billy Casey there. He's all pumped up. No, it seems to have taken a knock there. Fast ball in to Luke Casey inside on the end line. Gives a hand pass out to David Thompson. David struggling, staying his feet. Lovely hand pass to Matthew Bradley who slips the ball high. Hits off. That seemed to come off the crossbar. I think it did. And uh, it's gone out there. One back, back there by Jack Toomey. Jack goes long up the line looking for Barry O'Shea. Barry out in front of Paddy Toomey. Barry goes low into the corner looking for Conor McMahon. Connor gets it, uh, Connor McMahon gets it up, being marked by Connor Smith and Paul Ring. Slips the ball to Barry O'Shea. Barry bursting forward now. Uh, slips it over the bar, and that was a super point from Kim Shanning. Yeah, Walk back from the ball, hitting their own crossbar. Walker up within 10 or 12 seconds to put it over the bar. Super quick, very, very, very good play. The handling is very good at the minute by Kim Shanning. I have a look still, they're struggling with that. But, um, the, the, the ability to score points on the Kilshanig side. Five, Kilshanig points, five points to one here, but Kilshanig leading. Kilshanig win the kick out again. Walks back here to Cullum O'Shea. Cullum puts in a high ball in there. Connor Smith gets a hand to it. Connor is being tackled by two Kilshanig men. Slips it out to Paul Dilworth. Paul looking to get it out to Adam Murphy. Adam slips a hand pass to Niall Barry Murphy. Niall is looking for someone. He's been tackled there by Cullum O'Shea. Being pulled up for over tra- being for give a fucking option. Come on! Over carrying. It's a free to Kilshanig. About 45 yards out, and Kieran Toomey is looking to put this ball on the ground here. I think it was a harsh enough call, though, wasn't it? It was, it was very quick to blow, I think, the ref. Kieran is a left footer free taker, will suit the left footer free taker here slightly to the right hand side. Kilchenny leading five points to one. That's gone to the right and gone wide. It's another wide for Kilshanig. Now they've hit a few wides and they're still leading five points to one at the moment in time. Where There's 25 minutes gone in the game uh, with two minutes to be added for the water break to that. John Buckley here with the kick out looking for somebody again. Not getting a whole lot of options. Very little movement here from Abulog. John is going long looking for Shane Tarrant. In underneath it there is number eight. One, Sean O'Connell was fouled there. So he's going to up the ball. Fouled by Kieran O'Sullivan. No. Referee, Matthew Bradley looks taken fast. Referee moves it forward 10 yards. Matthew has the ball in his hands. Looking to slip it inside to Luke Casey. Luke just bounces up awkwardly to Luke. One inside there. Uh, Jack Toomey coming out with it now. Slips it across to... Uh, Jack Toomey has it again. Got the hand pass from Colin O'Shea. Jack looking to up into fast into the corner to Conor McMahon again. Conor out in front to Conor Smith. Out there at the corner flag. Taking a shot in there, looking to get it in. One inside there by John Buckley. Hand passes it out to Michael Dinhey. Michael walks it out here, the left hand side to Paddy Toomey. Paddy gives a lovely hand pass up to Adam Murphy. Adam now breaking up the left hand touchline. Gives a hand pass back into Niall Barry Murphy. Niall on his own 65. Looking up for some movement inside the forward line. Goes astray, goes to Jack Carney, cut out here. Kieran Toomey now with time on the ball. Slip it down here on the right-hand side into Darrell Sullivan. Darrell being marshaled by Paul Dilworth here in the corner. Gets a shot in low, cut out by Michael Dinehy. As far as he and Barry, Mur- um, uh, Barry Murphy, back to Michael Dinehy. Back to Sean O'Connell. Sean. Sean seems to be fouled here. And the ref is giving him a free. Taken quickly by Adam Murphy. A cross into Paul Ring in the centre half back position. Paul gives a hand pass out to Niall Barry Murphy. Niall gives it back to Paul Ring. Paul looking up now, looking for an option. Out on the right hand side is Billy Casey. Billy sends it up along the line, looking for his cousin Luke. Luke about 25 yards out from the goal. Ball slips out of his hands. One inside there by Connor Casey. And a free out. Luke's to having serious issues with, with feet and, and his hands at the moment in time, just kind of with the conditions here. He needs to. Jack Toomey now bursting forward with the ball here, in, in, coming inside the Abbo. Look, 45, still going with the ball. Turns around, hand pass back to Kieran Toomey. 
Kieran gives a hand pass in to Kieran O'Sullivan, who's moving at speed out there. Again, three or four Abbott have been around him. Back to Kieran Toomey. Push back out now to right half back Colm O'Shea, who's in the middle of the field. Colm is driving forward now, facing Matthew Bradley. Matthew puts in a tackle. Worked out here to uh, Jack Carney out on the right hand touchline. Jack sends it in low. In, um, in front one there by Niall Barry Murphy, flicks it to Paul Ring, gives a hand pass to Sean O'Connor. He's fouled after the hand pass goes. Fouled by Eno Hanlon there after the hand pass, and the referee has his notebook out there. He does, yeah. No, I mean, I have a lot of, a lot of work to do here. Five points to one behind now, uh, coming up to half time. The yellow card there for Eno Hanlon, deservedly so. That's two Kilchani players now on yellow cards. Paul Ring looking to make the free here. Out to the left hand side here to Adam Murphy. Adam Kill. gives a hand pass to Michael Denny here. Back to Adam Murphy. Adam looking to burst forward. Slips it over the top to Paddy Toomey. Paddy has now walked his way up into the opposing 65. Back to Adam Murphy. Adam has David Thompson outside him. Two kill Shannon men there. Tackled, goes to the ground into Matthew Bradley. Hand pass into Evan O'Sullivan. Evan looking to slip it through to Matthew again. Matthew's taking a shot. It's high and it's over the bar. And that's a great that's score. Much better, that lads. That's well worked score there. Well worked score. They worked it up. Took time. It, it looks like Kilshanig are deploying a sweeper there. He's in between the half-back line. That, that, that's, that's probably caused a few problems there. It's taken a bit of time to identify. But I think if I have a push on, Paddy is well up the fields there now. Um, and if they can do a bit more of that and actually pile on a bit more pressure there in that, in that in the kind of the middle to the, the half-forward line, we might get a bit more success. But now we're five points to two down now. One there, uh, the breaking ball won by Shane Tarn, who slips it back to Billy Casey. Billy looking to go up along the line, again to find Luke up along the line. Luke trying to get it up, gets it up. He's inside the 13, on his favourite left boot, hits it in low. Taken inside easily by the keeper, Gavin Creedy, who hand passes out to Shane Murphy. Shane puts it long down here to Jack Carney. One is fouled. He's fouled after he kicks the ball. The ref deems he's fouled as a free from where the ball landed. Uh, Jack Toomey is here looking to take the free. Goes fast over the top to Eno Hanlon. Hardy Toomey is coming out. One there by Sean O'Connell. Sean goes down. Ono Sullivan is working hard there. One again by Jack Carney out here on the touchline. Gives a hand pass back to Barry Gearin. Barry slips it into Kieran O'Sullivan, who has Colm O'Shea outside him. Comes off Colm's shins. Colm has plenty of time here. Driving forward, being faced by Niall Barry Murphy. Slips it back to Kieran O'Sullivan. Outside to Kieran Toomey. Slips it, hand pass to Barry O'Shea. Back into number eight, Kieran O'Sullivan. Easily held inside there by John Buckley, who hand passed out to Paddy Toomey. Back to John Buckley. Out to Adam Murphy. They need to get it out of here. Cross to Paul Ring. Paul hand passes out to the right to Shane Tarrant as Abol had looked to walk it up the field now. Locked down there by Barry O'Shea. Barry is coming forward, being tackled by Shane Tarrant on his left foot. Easily held again by John Buckley inside the Abola goal. Out to Adam Murphy here, who's in acres of space here, out on the left hand side. Two Kilchanning men coming on and now Matt slips it up to Matthew Bradley. Matthews take his block down out over the sideline. It's a line ball for Abola right in the middle of the field here. The referee has seen something there he doesn't like. He's calling Colm O'Shea over to him. Has his notebook out over on the far side. A lot better there from Abulog in the last few minutes now again coming up to half time. That's a third booking now for Kilchanik. Yellow must card been, for Colm O'Shea. Been, well, either a tackle we missed there earlier on or just something he said. Adam Murphy with the silent ball goes to David Thompson. David goes across, finds Billy Casey in space here in the middle. Billy is walking forward now. Hand pass out here, looking for Evan O'Sullivan out on the left-hand wing. Evan is being marked there by Owen Burke. Cuts inside Owen Burke. Referee's given advantage. And he's free in, free in for Evan O'Sullivan. On the 13-yard line, about 10 yards out to the left of goal. And it's something here that you should see definitely well within David Thompson's range. You should. I think the ref, again, you know, he's getting frustrated with a lot of the tackling, actually, from the Kilshanik side. Um, he had given the advantage before that. That's the second foul there, so... 
Well, hopefully now I have a look and get that ball in and watch out for that sweeper. We're just They've managed to get past it in the last two balls now. Just injury, into injury time here. Uh, lovely point by David Thompson. Brings the score back to five points to three and we're in injury time now so it's up to the ref, whatever he wants to add on here. You can see these teams are evenly enough matched. You know, Kuchenik has definitely had the best of it there in the middle, the middle third of that. But the last five minutes just before half time is very encouraging for Mahabulog, and more of that in the second half. Maybe a few changes needed at half time, but um, Connie and the guys have a few things to think about. But one easy there, well held by Barry O'Shea, who didn't seem to get the mark from the referee. Barry slips it up into the corner. Paddy Toomey is out in front here of Ono Sullivan. And a push the back. Paddy goes to ground, slips it back for Paul Ring. Paul being tackled by Kieran Toomey, slips it out to Shane Tarrant, into Michael Dinehy. Back to Paddy Toomey, Paddy slips it to Conor Smith, Conor is bursting forward, gives it to Matthew Bradley, Matthew gives a hand pass in front to Evan Sullivan, Evan takes it, slips it out, lovely ball. ball out to Sean O'Connell, Sean is driving forward now, looks up to take a shot, it's gone to the left and gone wide. You couldn't fault that though, the right effort, the right time, Sean had a good shot earlier in the game so... He, he was good to take it on and I think that was better play again out of the back. Super play there Great the way Abola worked it out in the half back line, lovely into passing, uh, slipped it in. Sean was unlucky with the shot, he had a great shot in the first five minutes, put it over the bar, but unlucky with, with an easier We're shot at half there. time here now mate. The ref blows here for half time, so it's Kilchanig five points, Abola three points. Um, it's not raining here at the moment, it's still dry, it's dry since around the water break but very greasy conditions, very hard to hold the ball. Uh, I suppose can Chanig are, are worked their lead at this stage? I think they're worked their lead and I think a lot of it is actually down to a few handling errors that Havulik have made really and they've, they've deployed a sweeper there which is, it's, it, it has really kind of counteracted what Havulik are trying to do, kind of getting that ball into the full forward line very quickly. Obviously the loss of Ian Barry Murphy in the first half through injury there is a bit of a loss of course but obviously able, Michael Dini has come in who started the last game against, um, against Kildallery. But um, we've definitely come back into that game in the last few minutes in time and I think that we started well and we finished well there and I think that's the, the Connie, John Tarrant and the team there on the, on the sideline now. Plenty to think about but I think plenty to work with. There is plenty there but uh, I suppose Kil uh, Colin G a pitch here, there's a, there's a very slight hill on it and uh, I suppose what we have a look after to look forward to is we're playing with the hill now, we're playing down the hill so... I think we're playing down the hill, yeah. That'll, that'll make it a small bit easier as well for them, whatever hill is, is it's very slight but it's there. Uh, sometimes it's a mental thing. Um, Indeed, we're playing down into the village now this time, if, you, if anyone's familiar with Colin, we're up here on top of the hill, I'm going to try and get a view out the back here, let's back into Mill Street heading home there, got a few clouds over the Bagara Mountains there, myself and Mick will go on silent here now for a few minutes, we're going to grab ourselves a cup of tea and uh, we'll, we'll just put the put the phone up on a stand for a few seconds. We have the old hang sandwiches there, so we'll be grand. There'll be no fear of us. Just hold on to it a second. Just
So we're back live here, getting ready for the train. No change from Mahabulug. Um, just looking to see if there's any changes on the Kilchanik side. Don't see any numbers yet, but if there is, I'll let you know. Starting the second half now, five points to Kilchanik, three points to Ahabulug. The game is on now. Won there by Matthew Bradley for Ahabulug. Matthew is looking for a pass out to Shane on the left-hand side. Shane seems to be playing in the half-hour position now. With Michael Dinhe playing, moving back into midfield. Sean O'Connor there receives the hand pass. Over here, over here, over here. Sean gives it out here on the right hand side to Billy Casey. Billy gives it to you and, and drops the ball, picks it again. Billy is still going forward here up the right hand side, pinned to Roman side. Billy going forward into the 21, gives it a kick and it goes miles to the right and wide. Yeah, it was a positive start though from Mahabulu there. We needed that and we need to get moving forward. <laughs> so Gavin Creighton here with the first kick out of the second half from Kilchenik goes long up the right hand side looking for Darrow Sullivan who's moved away out to the middle of the field back to Jack Toomey Jack gives a hand pass out to Brian Gearn Brian bursting forward now being chased by Nigel Bradley out the right hand side to Barry O'Shea Barry being marshalled out there by Paddy Toomey Barry goes down on the ball being tackled by Paddy right out on the sideline giving him no room, back to Barry Gearn, 21 yards out. Barry has to go backwards to Kieran O'Sullivan, 45 yards out in loads of space here. Gives a hand pass into number 11, Kieran Toomey, who kicks with his left foot and it goes to the right and wide. So it's yeah. one wide each. One wide each again at the start of the second half. Same as similar stories what happened in the first half there. Kilchanig leading by five points to three here, low scoring game, wet conditions, the rain is coming down now again as John Buckley looks ready to take the kick out for Abolog. Goes short to Billy Casey. Billy is now bursting forward. Gives a hand pass into Matthew Bradley. Matthew coming deeper and deeper to receive the ball. Back to Adam Murphy. Adam going into David Thompson in the corner. David gets the ball in his hand. Being held inside there and wins the free over. Owen Burke was holding him there. David sends the ball in high into Luke Casey. 
Luke gets it in his hand, drops it, there's two or three men around him. Gavin Cleveland gets the ball away. Niall Barry Murphy coming out here to win it, being tackled by Kilshanig full forward. Slips it into Billy Casey, back to Sean O'Connell. Sean being marked by Kieran O'Sullivan and wins the free about uh, 40 yards out from the Kilshanig goal. And it looks like Matthew Bradley will get a chance here to break, put the minimum between the sides. Yeah, Bradley, he had a similar chance here, I think, at Mallow as well. He opted to go short on that, on that occasion, but he's definitely lining it up here. Quietness down here now in Cullen. And touched out for a 45 by the keeper. It was just about to, going to creep under the bar he, there. He had it on target, all right. And I think the goalkeeper was taking no chances and not, uh, not trying to feel that ball. So it's um, a 45, 45 to have a look. It looks like um, looks like Luke is going to take this off the ground. Luke is very good with the with the place balls on the ground. A very good free taker from the 45. Just over three minutes gone. We're still five points to three to Kilshanig here. Luke Casey lining up the 45. And that makes no mistake, straight over the bar, puts the minimum bar. between the sides. Abolin, four points, Kilshanik, five points. And that's a good start to the second half. A good from start, Abolin. they needed the start. I think they, you know, at half time, the guys got a bit of a scolding. I think they, they, they went to sleep for a bit of the middle of the second or the first half there. So Gavin Creed looking to go here. short here, slips it out to Darrow Sullivan, who's being marked by Paul Ring back there. And Luke Casey, Leaf touches the ball on the ground with a free into Abolin, kicked away again by Connor Casey. The referee moves it forward, 10 yards. Very clear in his instructions on why he's moving it forward for kicking it away. He was unha I think the Kilchani boys were unhappy that he Lucas. thought he fielded it from a mark and called the mark, but the ref was clearly telling him he was not outside the 45, so, and the ref was standing on the 45, and uh, then held on to the ball for too long. Luke trying to level the scores here from a free. Doesn't get underneath it. Locked inside there by Owen Burke on the line. Owen coming out with it to Shane Murphy. Shane hand passes up to Jack Toomey. Jack Toomey soling up the right hand side, slips it out to Darrow Sullivan. Dara slips it into the middle to Barry Gearn. Barry being marshaled there by Michael Dinney. He gets the ball in high into Barry O'Shea inside there and Kieran Toomey. Conor McMahon has it now out to Kieran Toomey on his left foot. Kieran Toomey high and it's over the bar as the first score of the second half for Kilshanig. Kilshanig lead by six points to four. And so it uh, just proves you need to take your chances here against Kilchenig. You know, we just missed that free again and uh, straight down the field and over the bar. Similar to what they did in the first half, they'll punish you when they get the opportunity. Just over five minutes gone, John Buckley with the kick out here, out close to the sideline. Is that not a push in the back, man? One there by the Kilchenig. Ian O'Hanlon. Ian on his left leg, doesn't catch it right. It's dropping in by the edge of the square. Touched by number 10 there, Barry O'Shea out over the line and his wide ball. Yeah, the rain is coming down heavy here now at the moment in time again, so not good for the handling. Kilshanik have definitely uh, had the better of the handling, I think, in the rain. They've definitely adapted better to it. It's Luke, Luke Casey feeling this here from and going forward. Luke is driving at the Kilshanik defence. Owen Burke comes out. He's been fouled by two men there. Got no free. Taken out there by... Here in O'Sullivan. That's his final year of And. The ref is trying to control it down here. It's a free in Tabo. Look. I think the number two there for Kilshanik, Connor DC. So, Brian Gearn from Kilshanik and Niall Barry Murphy from Abolog are being called over by the referee. I think it's probably a yellow card for each of the two lads. Be, yeah. And he might decide to throw that in. If he saw enough to send on the Ahabuluk side as well. At the minute anyway, Luke Casey is preparing for a free. It's a yellow card yellow, each. yellow for both sides there. I think the number two, yeah, 
who's a column DC there, a Connor DC. He he also is the the instigator of this. Connor Casey, sorry, I'm getting the name wrong there. He gives a yellow card as well. Yellow cards, mounted yellow cards for only. That's the that's the fifth yellow card now for Kilshanig there. Have to be careful. Luke puts the ball on the ground again. He's inside the 45 yard line, about halfway between the goal and the sideline. Luke gets under this one and a beautiful strike by Luke and straight over the bar reduces the score to the minimum. Six points to Kilshanig, five points to Abolog. There is, um, we're seven, nearly eight minutes into the second half. Parik O'Sullivan now is coming into the fray for Abolog. Coming in for Niall Barry Murphy. Parik is still a minor with us this year. Came on the last day as well. Kick out from Gavin Creedon. Won there by Matthew Bradley. One, Matthew won the break. Going forward, slips it into Billy Casey. Billy puts it in low. Blocked inside there by fullback. And number four, Shane Murphy, is coming out with it. Four Abolog men around him. And he wins the free there. Back on his own, about 30 yards out from goal. I think Evan took a, a, a hit to the face there. Probably just a, as, as the Kilshanning man was bursting out. Whether it was the ball or an elbow, I'm not exactly sure, but he, the ball was high. But I don't think it was a free or anything, but it, um, he definitely felt that, Evan. But look, Ahabulog back into it here, six points to five behind now. Kilshanig have a point in this um, second half, Ahabulog of two so far. Much better start. Um, Be better a beautiful free there from Luke Casey, yeah, really the, hit the, it and struck it on the sweet spot and it went straight over the, the black spot in the exactly, crossbar. Yeah. No, Luke, Luke has definitely upped his game here at the start of the second half. And now we've Parig O'Sullivan gone in there. And he's got, he looks like he's gone into the full forward position as well, into the full forward line. As I said earlier, Parrick is still only minor with us, a very, very good prospect with the club. So it's a free out here to Kilcheny. Taken quickly up to Owen O'Sullivan, the full forward, who's now playing back in the middle of the field. Owen is driving forward, being tackled. And win winning a free inside there for Kilcheny. Moves it forward there. So Eno Hanlon here is going to take this free. He's about 45 yards out. Well within his range though, what he's proven in the first half. Looks to be curling, curling. To the left. Curling to the left and wide. So another wide for Kilshanning again. Remaining here, six points to five to Kilshanig at the moment of time. Just over ten minutes gone in the second half. Just the minimum between them as John Buckley takes the kick out, looking for Sean O'Connell. One inside there on the break by Adam Murphy. Back to Sean O'Connell, right out on the sideline. Sean bursting forward, He's hot traveling. for over travelling. For over carrying the ball, free into Kilshanig, just inside the middle of the field. Back to Kieran Toomey. Out on the right-hand touchline there. Brian Gearn has it now. Slips it into Kieran Toomey. Kieran going back to his full back Owen Burke. This is Kieran Toomey here looking for Owen O'Sullivan in the middle of the field. Owen gives a hand pass back to Kieran Toomey. Kieran sends it forward to number 13, Darrell O'Sullivan, who's out in the middle. playing well. advantage there as well. Slips it back to Connor Casey. Connor up to Kieran Toomey who slips it in over the top to Owen O'Sullivan. Owen about 21 yards out, one inside there by Adam Murphy. A great steal for Adam, who sends it down the line here to Matthew Bradley on his own 65. Hand pass into Evan O'Sullivan. Evan gives it to Sean O'Connell. Sean goes out the left, sees Shane in loads of space out there. Shane Town now bursting forward on the inside the 45. Still going Shane, tackled inside there by Conor McMahon, who wins the ball and comes out with it. Gives it to Jack Toomey. Jack bursting forward now. Being Parik O'Sullivan is coming out to tackle him. Parik pulls him to the ground. And Parik could be in trouble here. The referee is calling Parik. Could be black card. Black guard territory. He did, he, he did put his two arms put, around put, put and swung him. Two arms around and swung him down, I suppose, yeah.
the yellow card. Yellow card for Porrick. I suppose the referee has been dishing him out though, so he only, at the minute in time he only has one colour in his pocket. So a free, t- free being taken by Kilshanig out, brings it low across. Connor Smith wins the ball there, flicks it back to Paul Ring. Paul coming, oh, Paul, pass, hand pass goes astray. One there again by Connor Smith. Loads of space out up, up the wing here. Back to Paul Ring. Paul slips it over the top to Michael Dinney. And Owen O'Sullivan is in trouble here because Owen, oh no, who's, who's this? We're 14. I think you're right, Owen O'Sullivan. Owen, I think Owen, Owen has been booked in the first half, maybe not. That's another yellow card for Kilchanig. Referee is vocal enough, in fairness to him. He is. He's Billy letting... takes the free fast to Paul Dilworth. Back to Billy Casey. Billy goes down the line. Oh, looking for Luke Casey inside. The ball in over the top. One inside there. And dropped again by Colm O'Shea. Slips it out to Conor Casey. Conor is right in his, his own corner. Being tackled by two Abolog men. Shane Murphy is now coming over with it. Slips a hand pass to Kieran Toomey. Kieran back to um, Shane Murphy, who's tackled and won back by Evan Sullivan. Back to Michael Dinney. Back to Paul Dilworth into Evan Sullivan again. Evan is trying to work his way forward. Slips it out here to the right to Porrick O'Sullivan. Porrick takes a shot from out on the right hand side. And that's a fantastic score from Porrick O'Sullivan. That's the leveller. That's the leveller. They're level at six points each. Porrick, who's only on the pitch about five or six minutes, has received the yellow card and he's now scored the equaliser. Um, Excellent work there by Evan O'Sullivan to win the ball back. Kilshani were coming out with the ball. Evan put in a heavy challenge on the, on the, on the, the wing back coming out with the ball, win it back. 14 minutes gone in the second half. Paul Ring picks up the loose ball here. Into hand pass into Matthew Bradley. Matthew half blocked down there by Barry Gearan. One outside there. Slips the ball out to Jack Carney. Right out on the far touchline again. Looking for Kieran O'Sullivan in the middle of the field. Kieran O'Sullivan has Conor McMahon outside him. Conor has loads of space in front of him and he's bursting forward. Billy Casey's on him. S- sends it left footed and sends it about 30 yards wide. I'll tell you, Billy Casey's pumped up at the minute in time anyway. Billy is the Abola captain, playing very, very well today. Fast kick out here again from John Buckley, out to Adam Murphy, who slips it into Paul Dilworth. Paul gives a hand pass to Matthew Bradley. Matthew on his own 45, looking up, hops the ball on his toe, sends it across here to Paul Ring. Back to Adam Murphy, pass, lucky to hold on to it there. Paul Dilworth out here to Billy Casey, acres of space again. Billy is now going to drive forward at Kilshanig. Up the right hand touch line. Gives a hand pass inside to Evan O'Sullivan. Evan tackled by the Kilshanik fullback Owen Brock, who comes out with the ball, slips it over the top to Owen O'Sullivan. Being tackled by Sean O'Connell. Sean wins it, goes down on the ball, gives a hand pass across to Paul Ring. This is fantastic play here from Abba. Abba looks best As patch Paul of the game. walks forward again into the halfway line, hand pass into Matthew Bradley. Matthew sends the ball into the corner, into Evan O'Sullivan. Tackle inside there and won by Owen Brock. Evan is injured in that Evan play. is injured there, that looked heavy. Out to In O'Hanlon out here on the sideline, being tackled by Pollock O'Sullivan. Ball out over the line. Line ball to Bullock. It's heating Billy up Casey, here. Heating back up to here in Pollock O'Sullivan. Pollock into the middle to Paul Ring. Paul in acres of space here in the middle of the field. Uh, Evan is still getting treatment there. inside. He's okay, he's up again. Out uh, to the left to the best to game here. Adam Murphy who sends it into. Lou Casey in front of Matthew. Matthew being faced there by, Ke- by Bar- Brian Deere. Well, it's, a 45. it's a 45 to have a look. Halfway between the goal and the halfway line. Or the halfway su- between the goal and the sideline. Super five minutes there from Abolog in the last Absolutely five minutes. They brought super. it back to level at six points each and the best five minutes of the game for Abolog so far. The intensity has gone miles up, gone through the roof in the last few minutes. And I think Deservedly so. That last point by Parry goes all over there was just got it. Billy Casey is driving the team on at the moment in time. They really, really have really come into it in the second half, and they are they are on top, well on top. Um, scores are really hard to come by, but uh, Bullock got the majority. They've outscored uh, Kilchanig. That ball is dropping in the square. One inside there by the fullback. It slipped in again, and one inside there again by Brian Gearn. Who slips it out the left, out the right hand side to 
Jack Toomey, that ball was bouncing all over the place, could have gone anywhere. Jack Toomey goes up along the sideline, gives a hand pass in to Kieran Toomey. Connor Casey now. Connor drives it forward. Paul Ring is sitting all on his own here underneath it. Sends it down to Porrick O'Sullivan. Porrick wins the ball into his hand. Great catch by Porrick. Block down, half block down. One inside there. In comes to Aino Hanlon now. Aino slips it up here to Owen O'Sullivan. Owen back to Aino Hanlon. In up the left hand side, being tracked by Matthew Bradley. Into the middle there to Kieran O'Sullivan, who's plenty space. Paul Ring coming out to close him down. And on the left foot there of number 12 is Jack Carney, who sends it over the bar. That's a good score. Into and that's the water seven break. points to Kilshanig. Six points to Bullock. There's 18 minutes gone, and the ref stops it for the water break. I think Kilshanig will be lucky. They, they were, they're were happy with that break now, even though they got the last point that, that, um, of, the, of that quarter. But they were definitely, Abulog were definitely on top there for the last Abulog definitely seven, had them on the rack there with the last few minutes. minutes. They're really driving at them, pushing at them in waves. It's a really, really tough game in tough conditions. Um, but it's anybody's game at this stage. There's 15 minutes left. Uh, any, any, anybody can win this game. Um, Kilshanig, I suppose, uh, had the better of the first half, but definitely so far in the second half. So far in the second half. That will push on now in the last last 10, 15 minutes of this game here now. The game is I mean, the referee taken. has been busy. They used to be very careful in there. I think a couple of Kilshanig men on, on yellow cards at this stage. You know, they're gonna they're they're gonna be under pressure from this young Avalok side in the last fifteen minutes. Again, there's going to be plenty of fitness here. No fear. The last couple of weeks of hurling as well has helped them. There's plenty of match fitness in this side. And, um, and with all those, I, 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 uh, at this stage, Kilshanig must have about seven or eight yellow cards. If I will keep running at him, they're going to put those backs under pressure and one of those backs is going to make a slip. I think so. I think Connor, Connor Casey there in the corner back position is under a lot of pressure at the minute in time from Luke Casey. He's finally come into the game. He, you know, First half, I think he struggles a lot with handling and, and kicking the ball, but he's come into the game super in the, in the, in the second half. And since Parik O'Sullivan has come on as well, Parik came in there for, for Niall Valley Murphy, fresh legs. Uh, Niall was playing well, but Porrick has come in and he's added a bit of steel, a bit of strength to it, and he's driving at them. And they just don't know how to handle Porrick at this stage. He's got a point already. Uh, they're going well. The lads are quite happy here. They feel the game is within, definitely within their reach. They're a point behind, seven points to six to Kilchanik. And uh, definitely a game there for the take. There's a game here for the take. I think this is the, the, one of the tougher games that Kilchanik have had in the last years. I know they're without Killian O'Hanlon, they're, they're a park star. But the conditions is definitely a leveller here today, and I think I have a look now. You know, we didn't have the best of first halves, is what we'd be looking at from our side. Um, we're trying to be unbiased here as well with that, but the, the, the definitely was the, the, the last 10 minutes was definitely the, the Ahabulog that we know that they can come out. Definitely, these lads are fit, they're young. A lot of these teams were playing under 21 football last year. A lot of them playing it under 21 football this year. No, Kilkishanig are not an old team either, but these lads are young, they're fit. They have a lot played over the last couple of weeks and they're ready. They last the 60 minutes, absolutely no problem at all. Do it indeed. Yeah, no, so we're seven points to six. Kilshanig lead here. We've got about, just at, after the water break here in the, semi, in the second half, so we've got about 11, There's, 12 minutes left yeah, in the game. About two and a half minute water break. Maybe, maybe with injury time then at the end of that with the ref. So play is going to resume here with a kick out for John Buckley in the Abola goal. Everybody's back in place. The ref is happy. He starts his watch, blows the whistle, and John Buckley is taking the kick out here now. Looking to come down this side, looking for Parley O'Sullivan. Fisted down there by Colm O'Shea, out to in or handling in the middle of the field, being tackled by Parley, back to Colm O'Shea. Colm is striking forward now. Looks like Michael O'Regan is in there as well. Jack Toomey, out to uh, number 12 is Jack Carney. Michael O'Regan's after putting in a good few tackles there. One there by Connor Smith, who gets it to Adam Murphy. Adam brings it across here to Porrick O'Sullivan. Porrick has space in front of him now. Sends it out the side here to David Thompson. David gets it into his hand, being tackled here by Shane Murphy. Illegally, is the ref, and he wins the free. Still trying to figure out who, who Michael O'Regan is in for there. Up into the corner to Evan O'Sullivan. Evan just doesn't control it, and it's a line ball to... It's a line ball to Kilshanig. 
take it fast. One inside there by Brian Gearan. You know, Hanlon has it now, he's coming away. Three Abolic men around him, he's fouled. Did you figure out who went off there? I haven't seen that yet, no. Um, referee saw the numbers there. He's giving a, he looks like giving David Thompson a bit of a taking here. Niall, who came off there? Paddy came off. Michael Regan and Sofa Paddy to me. Yellow card there for David Thompson. I think that was a bit of a harsh yellow card by the way things were going. That didn't seem to be it a whole lot like in it. It was a bit of a shoulder, a bit of a, a bit of a sandwich really. Yeah, there didn't seem to be a whole lot in it, but the ref has given a lot of cards today. Three up here into the corner. Kilchanik substitute. One there by Connor Smith. Out on the edge of the sideline. Hand pass into Billy Casey. Billy gives it back to Connor. Connor's now bursting forward. Oh, hops the ball. Loses it to Eno Hanlon. In up the shoulder and just hopped the ball. Kilchanik win it back here in Toomey. Back into Shane Murphy. Shane out to Colm O'Shea. Back to Shane Murphy. Out to Darrow Sullivan. Shane Murphy takes a shot from... 25 yards out, puts it over the bar. Kilchanig now lead by eight points to six. Super quick to break Kilchanig again. You know, they get the ball across into the middle and down down the centre there. They're deadly accurate when it gets down to it. And it shows why they do knock up the knock up the points in the beginning. Fast kick here play. from John Buckley to Adam Murphy. Adam gives it to Paul Dilworth. Paul drops it, slips it back to Adam Murphy again. Adam over the top here to David Thompson. On the 65 yard line, looking to take on Shane Murphy. His marker Long bursts inside it. him. David is still going forward. Down into the corner, looking for help there. Gets help from Matthew Bradley. Matthew drives it across the field in front of Paul Ring. Paul out there in acres of space, 45 yards out. Hand pass over the top to Michael O'Regan. Michael is blocked down. Gives it to Evan O'Sullivan. Evan slips it into the middle here to Sean O'Connell. Sean about 30 yards out now with two or three Kilchanik men around him. Gives a hand pass back to Matthew Bradley. Kilchanik really closing down the space here. Out the side to Michael O'Regan. Michael out on the 13 now. Slips it back to Matthew Bradley. Matthew about 30 yards out. Looking to take it, looking to drive it into the square. No cases inside underneath it. So is Parik O'Sullivan. But one inside there by Owen Buck, who gives it back, who brings it out the right hand side, drives it long up the right hand side, looking for Barry O'Shea up there on the sideline. Barry wins the ball and is pushed out over the line. Uh, Kilchanik had packed the defence there and I think Matthew was we were looking for we were being a bit hopeful there by just pouncing it into the full forward line. But um a bit early yet to be to be to be looking for that we could build yeah, up. Kilchanik have pulled a lot of them in behind the ball now. They have two full forwards and there's one man in the half forward line. Everybody else back in the abolic half of the field as Colm O'Shea breaks forward here, gives it in to uh Kieran O'Sullivan who's slips it in, slips it out here to Darrow O'Sullivan out here on the wing, being marshaled by Paul Dilworth. Dara going backwards, back to number five, Cullum O'Shea. Cullum sends it in over the top, looking for the substitute inside. Johnny Buckley takes it inside there, hand pass out to Michael Dinehy. The substitute inside, I didn't get his number. Michael Dinehy coming down here, 45 yards out from his own goal, gives it to Billy Casey. Billy turning inside to Michael Dinehy. Michael sits it into the middle to Michael O'Regan, who gives it out to Paul Ring. Paul sends the ball into the corner, looking for Evan O'Sullivan inside the corner. Evan goes down on the ball, doesn't come up with the ball. One there by Owen Buck. Owen is fouled as he comes out with it, and it's a free out to Kilchanik on their own 21. Takes it fast to Kieran O'Sullivan in the middle of the field. Gives a hand pass there to, uh, to Kieran Toomey. Kieran goes long again here, looking one inside there by Shane Tarrant. Conor McMahon and the sub inside there, number 23, is Glenn Kinnefick. Out to Conor McMahon. Big held there by Shane Tarrant. Billy Casey. Out to Kieran Toomey. That's a free out. And the referee, he's going to give a booking here, I think. The referee and Kieran Toomey is in trouble here because Kieran is. Is Kieran in the book already? It was a bit rough. He kind of kicked the ball in when the ball was down at Paul's body height. There's so many of them in the book at this stage that it's hard to know who's in trouble and who's not. The referee looks at the book and is just a ticking, I would think. I think that's a a, a bit of a let off. No, I can't. I can't confirm he's in the book already, but. Uh, Paul Ring here with the free. It wasn't characteristic with the way he's been handing out the yellow cards anyway that that one wasn't. 
So, 25, almost 25 minutes gone in the second half. Kilshanig leading eight points to six. So the Kilshanig corner forward there, number 15. Conor McMahon is receiving treatment here out on the sideline. David Moynan is warming up for Abulug as well. And Glenn Kennefick is into the Kilshanig team there with the last five or six minutes. The referee is going down there talking to Evan O'Sullivan and he's giving Evan a booking for something that happened a few minutes ago. I think it was the tackle there on Owen Burke. Yeah. There's a lot of numbers inside, a lot of names inside in that uh, referee's notebook today. He's looking to turn over the page, I'd say. He is, he, I'd say he's turned it once or twice, but um, he only has one colour by the looks of it. Conor McMahon here's been taken off. Um, don't know if there's a sub on yet. So it looks like Kilchenik are down to 14 min at the moment. While Conor McMahon receives treatment. Paul ring bursting forward here with the ball through the middle of the field. Sends the ball in, looking for Luke Casey inside. One inside there by Kilchenik, who are double marking him now at this stage. Number 18 is tight to me. He's into the team for Kilchenik as well. Jack to me, bursting up the right hand side again. Jack has carried a lot of ball for Kilchenik up that right hand side. Being tackled there by Adam Murphy, slips the ball in to Ty Toomey. Ty back to Jack Toomey. <laughs> Kieran O'Sullivan now in space in the middle of the field. Being tackled there by Michael O'Regan. Has to go backwards. Slips it out to Kieran Toomey. The pass goes astray. One there by Paul Ring, who seemed to be fouled as he won that. Parik O'Sullivan looking to win it out here on the sideline. Being tackled in there by Colm O'Shea. Slips it back to Paul Dilworth. Paul has time and space. Slips it back to Michael Toomey, or Michael Dinehy. Michael is now coming forward, hops it on his toe, looking to see what is he going to do with it. Slips it into Sean O'Connell. Sean tackled there by Killian Toomey, slips it back to Paul Dilworth. Paul switches it over to Paul Ring. Paul now driving forward inside the Kilchanig 65 into Adam Murphy. Adam slips it in, looking for Billy Casey. Cut out there by Colm O'Shea. One there again by Parik O'Sullivan, Parik gives it to Billy Casey, into Matthew Bradley, Matthew takes a shot, it's blocked down, back to Billy Casey, Billy looking to find Evan O'Sullivan inside there on the full forward line, one inside there again, Luke Casey has it into Evan O'Sullivan, Evan has it in his hand, he wins a free in, a free in the very close to the square, I think it was for a foul on Luke, as he gave the pass, two points between the teams, 27 and a half minutes gone, Definitely a chance here for Abolok to bring back to bring it back to a one-point game. They will, and there'll be a few minutes added here as well. So David Moynan is coming in here to the Abolok team. John Tarn drawing instructions in there. Quite. I think you heard him for yourself from there as Luke lines up to take the free. Slips it over the bar. Lovely score for again from Luke and it's back to a one point game as David Moynan comes into the team now. He's coming in for Evan O'Sullivan. Evan O'Sullivan, yeah, he's no, on. Evan is moving out. Looks like Matthew is coming off. Ref has indicated there's five minutes left in the game here. That obviously includes the injury time. Kick out from Kilchanig. Again, one inside there by Barry Gearn, who slips it out the left hand side here. So like Matthew Bradley has come off. Number five is Colm O'Shea. Lovely pass over the top to Brian Gearn. Now Brian can run at Abulok here. They're giving him space to run. There's nobody coming to him. On his left leg, Brian Gearn. That looks. It's a 65. 45, 45. It's a 45. Somebody must have, Shane must have got a touch there. There was a touch on it on the block there. And the umpire and the ref both signalled the 45. Bit of confusion here on the line thinking that it was over the bar with the signal, but there was no flag. So we're in for a, a tight finish here. We're have a look, seven points, Kilshenig, eight points, 45 here. We've had you know, four, Highland we have about four minutes to go. Has been good from freeze today. Certainly within his range, 45, pretty much straight in front of the goal. Strikes it well, gets underneath it, 
and it's high and it's over the bar and it's two point lead now for Kilshanig with about four minutes left in this game. Abo look to work it out fast. Fast kick out to Billy Casey. Billy turns back inside. Sends it out the right hand side, out the left hand side, out to Sean O'Connell who fails to fails with the catch. Ball is in front of him there. If he can get it up into his hand, he does. He's trying to burst up the line. Sean is bursting up the line. Gives a lovely hand pass out in front of Billy Casey. Billy soccers it inside. One inside there by number seven, Jack Toomey. Coming out with it now is Barry O'Shea. Back helping his own half back line. Slips it inside, looking for Dara O'Sullivan. Dara gets the ball and he's walking through. Pulled back by Shane Tarrant. And, and it's Shane, a free in. Shane will be lucky to stay on here. With, I think that's going to be a black card, I would think. I wouldn't think so. I think he just pulled him back. He, he didn't pull him to the ground as such. I think it, it was just a jersey pull. I think the card has been yellow all day. So. Black card. It's a black card. It is a black card. No, the cynical foul there. I think it was. Um, he was. It was definitely true. I think Shane had to make that decision though. And we're down you know. to 14 men now with the new rules. He Shane can't be replaced. He's off for 10 minutes, so his game is over. He won't get back on again. It's a free to kill Shanig. It's about 30, 35 yards out from goal, about 10 yards in from the sideline to be taken here by Kieran Toomey off his left foot. Kieran took one in the first half, and I think he put it over the bar from a similar position. Kieran Toomey with the shot. It's high and it's over the bar and they'll lead by three points. But I suppose Shane really took the flat there for the team because if Darrow Sullivan had gone through at that stage, he was right through in on goal. There was a, it was a one-on-one -on -one situation inside, I think. Um, so John Buckley danger. here with the kick out again, looking for Billy Casey. Billy over on the far touch line now. Billy driving again at the... Puts it over the top, in for Michael O'Regan. Michael gets a flick to it, into David Minan, who's beaten inside there by Owen Burke. Owen comes out with the ball, drives it long up into the corner, looking for Glenn Kennefick. Ball bounces over him, bounces kindly for Glenn. Glenn is straight through. He's in, he's on the 13, out to the side. He hand passes in, looking for the hand pass over the bar. It goes to the right and goes wide. He really should have been looking to close out the game there. I think for Kilchanig, they might hope. There's three have a points between them. Kilchanig lead by 10 points to seven. Uh, we're into the last probably two minutes of the game. John Buckley takes it fast out to Paul Dilworth. Paul hand pass over the top to Adam Murphy. Adam sends it low oh, down here to David, David Thompson. Thompson, who's on his own 65. David looking inside for Luke. Cut out inside there by Ina. Hand pass out to Ty Toomey. Ty gives it, gives it back to number six, Brian Gearan. Hand pass out here to Ian O'Hanlon. Ina goes into the corner, looking for Glenn Pinnefick inside there again. Touched out by Connor Smith. It's a line ball to Kilshanig. About 25 yards out. To be taken there by Ian O'Hanlon. Come on, Ringo. Know what they need to do here. They need to get the ball down the field quickly and get a goal here. Into lands it into John Buckley's hand. John fits it out here to Parik or something. The referee blows it. It's all over. Kilshanig win by 10 points to 7. They go to the top of the table uh, with a last game against Kildallery. Ahabolog are on, had one win and their last game is against Glanmire, which is a must win game now at this stage. Glanmire who play Kildallery today at 5 o'clock. Um, depending on the winner of that, but definitely. Backs to the wall now for Abbott. To to tough, day, tough day at the office today. I think um, you know we had we had a, a, a great patch there in the middle of the, the second half, just before the water break. If if we could maybe the water break disrupted us there a bit too much, but um, look, Kilchanig very good on the day. They're well able to take their points. You can see why they're junior champions as well. Our lads, I think the, the, the conditions definitely did, they didn't adapt to the conditions the same way that the likes of Kilchanig had in the day. The handling at times was was poor. I think we, we dropped an awful lot of ball. I think the lads, a couple of the lads will be disappointed with that. But look, we've, we've still got a good chance. This is a very young team. They'll, they'll, I think they'll have a good chance. They'll fancy their chances against Glen Meyer in the next, in the next round as well. I think uh, Kilchanig dispatched of, of Glen Meyer. 
I think the score in that game was... was, was a oh, yeah, they won by 10, 10 points. points in it was that game, so. uh, 218 to 14 points. So uh, I think Ian Barry Murphy was a huge last night. They go off injured after six or seven minutes in the game. Um, it really took the wind out of their sails early on. Ian is the marquee forward. He's, he's the man they look for to set up the scores and to get the scores. And to take him out so early, I think it really disrupted things for Abolet. But they fought back well. They fought back they, well. They, I suppose Kilshanig were leading by two points at half time, by five points to three, but Abolet came right back into it in the third quarter. Look, it was a good game. I think the Abolet lads will learn a lot from today's game. You know, you're playing up against the super side. They're very, they're very strong. Um, and, um, you know, they're, they're, they're a rough old side. They, they, they got a, picked up a good few bookings there today. So the Abolet lads, who are young, and I suppose in that, in that sense as well, will have learned a lot there today. And you know they'll take that into the next rounds of the competition. They will, and uh, no, there's no match. We don't have a game next weekend. It's a rest week for the our intermediate players. No football or hurling. We resume in two weeks' time, where we play hurling against Middleton, our final game of the three group games. And uh, the week after that, it's football against um, against Glenmire. So, I suppose from Joe Parrott and myself, Michael Gilbert. I suppose thank you for watching today and uh, hopefully you're able to see it okay hopefully the pictures were good and clear from Killer Fullen as we leave here the sun is about to come out by the looks of it it does trying to break through the clouds it's really brightening up so listen thanks to all for watching and we'll see you we'll, we'll br try and bring live coverage again of the Middleton game wherever it's at uh, we don't know as the lads are having a chat here with Connie Lucy is telling them how I suppose how close they were on the day and listen, thanks to everybody, and we'll talk to you again the next day. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.